The final spots for the top six are up for grabs and the participants are just one step away from Singapore. Even after being knocked down to the lower bracket, LA1 still showed no signs of going to play passive. LA1 continues his assault, his aggressive assault onto this board, putting Monkey Mat with not a single tick on and Monkey Mat have got no other place but to try to aggressively take the bottom board. That's the only other play, right? So LA1 to go for another shot and hoping that that shot is a weaker shot than the first two. But unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. LA1 has been very consistent, taking all three points with 108 and finishing off with the bottom row win. LA1, the first seed, makes it into the top six, denying Monkey Matt from getting his ticket to Singapore in a close match that was decided by the third game. Spring's run in the lower bracket continues as he stamps his authority over Mekasu. Winning game one and Joeri winning in game number two. Definitely a great start for Spring. Joeri, let's take the corner, shall we? Or perhaps not. 103 is a vulnerable board after all. So a takeover from Joeri. The best play is to target that 104. In fact, Joeri might actually just go for the takeover on 104. It is a weaker board after all. So off he goes with a zoom, with a shot, and that is a takeover. 106. LA1 now just needs to play defensive. I don't think that he will want to target for a 106 or 107. He has pretty much learned his mistake fighting against with uh, Joeri, I believe. So with only 25 seconds in, going aggressive is going to be the only way to play. 102 for him. Zou Senpai now have got a very easy play. That's going to be game over for, uh, for LA1. So trying to reinforce that makes perfect sense. With the time constraint that he has, he gonna have to take away the 1 or 2. Unfortunately, with only 8 seconds left on the clock, he did not make Zou Senpai run out of time. LA1 have got a great idea. And 109 is gonna be the answer. Zou Senpai with only 6 seconds left on the clock, he gotta have to do something right here, right now with 4-3. Three. 3 seconds left. 99 points. I have no idea how he's gonna play this. 3, 2, 1, and time's out. That LA1 successfully beat Zou Senpai at the last second of Zou Senpai's game. Loser's bracket round six was a tight one across the two matches as Spring's miraculous run was finally put to rest by the dark horse Joey. Meanwhile, LA1 secures his place in the next round, setting up a rematch with the very person who knocked him down into the loser's bracket, Joey. Ladies and gentlemen, a grudge match is what we are going to be looking at right now. Why do I have a feeling that he might want to take over this 106? The Spidey senses. Oh my god! Oh! When LA1 is on a pressure, he usually does pretty well. <laughs> this is Joeri's redemption. He's gonna be getting himself right back into the game. I mean, he still have a lot of traps, right? This is going to be the next trap. Oh! And now LA1 is the one that will knock him out. As such, Joeri draws his bow, tries to take over the 109, but unfortunately with only a 98 points, LA1 very happily takes this board, which results him in a victory across the middle line. Jovi's strong run was put to bed with a 2-0 loss to LA1. LA1 has secured top three and is now up against D-Chan. Game one between LA1 and D-Chan ended in a flash as LA1 brought his aggressiveness onto D-Chan's space. He's either the top or the right one. Attempted to go for the top with a 107. Dichan, a very defensive, passive player. But the question is how low the score would be. 106 
But does LA1 really want to take this 1 to 6? If whether he wants to go for the safer play, or does he just want to take over? No respect take over. No respect take over it is. And unfortunately for Ji-chan, game number one and game number two ended in the same exact way. LA1 played aggressively as he triumphs 2-0 against D-Chan to go against the invincible Monty Day. This is it. The winner takes it all. Number one seed of the qualifiers versus the number four seed of the qualifiers. The top seed versus the seed that hasn't dropped a single game since starting this competition. This match went back and forth as both participants hit in high numbers securing boards. The moment that we have all been waiting for. The Grand Finals. And to top it off that, it is Monty Day against LA1. Monty Day uh, connects with a 107 on the right and LA1 with a very defensive 105 over to the left. But Monty Day looks like his aggressiveness is also here. A big part of me believe that LA1 wants to take it away. And he will. He will try to take it away, but it did not connect. Dropping LA1's amount of pressure would be great as well. There we go. Monty Day did essentially creating a trap over to LA1. Whereby if he makes a wrong... Uh, if, if he don't take over the right slot, any of the top corners or, or any of the top ones or the top right, he pretty much wins the game already. But regardless of all of that fact, Monty Day still managed to come up on top. Monty Day can win just by hitting the bottom right corner. But LA1 continues his aggressiveness. And now LA1 have got one play to play. Without a question, he lands a 105. As such, he will take over the 105. That's the only play in order to get himself right out of this pinch. Unfortunate board, which will help him result in a win. As such, LA1 versus Monty Day, we have successfully made it to a 2 is to 1 scoreline sure. yet. Even though Monty Day will start in the center of, uh, will start first, he's gonna be. Oh! LA1 will very understandably take the center of the board, and Monty Day will then respond. Oh! A 110 at that! The only other way that Monty Day can do is to go for the corner pieces. If this is not a good point, ah, 104 is not a difficult score to take over, and he will. Just Monty Day tries to take over. Oh, Monty Day! This makes sense, right? Monty Day trying to take over the top left corner of the board makes absolute sense, but unfortunately, that did not connect, allowing LA1 to get a flawless victory. This is what we won, ladies and gentlemen. A full five game series between Monty Day and LA1. Anything that's above 107, LA1 usually would not go for the shot. But this time, LA1 goes for the center shot despite this. So Monty Day now has a free shot. Monty Day will now effectively have two shots on the board. A 62 in the top right corner. Wait, 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 wait. Is this on purpose, Monty Day? No, right? This can't be on purpose. If he shoots a bad score in the top right corner, LA1 will then try to either defend at the bottom left or take over at the top right. So either way, Monty Day is forcing LA1 to take a shot in the corner piece. So that's my idea. That that is why Monty Day. Right now on the board we have LA1 with a 109 at the top right and 107 over to the left. But Monty Day's most recent shot is a 105 at the top of the board, and LA1 did not try to go for the defend at the bottom board. As such, Monty Day will end the grand finals with a vertical win down the center, and Monty Day is your champion for this tic-tac-bow tournament.
In what seemed to be a complete reversal, Monty Day keeps his cool and wins the finals against LA1. All right, Monty, and how do you feel coming into uh, the grand finals and giving such a nice, intense last match? <laughs> intense is one word for it. Um, I don't know, I was really excited. I'm just happy that I'm going to Singapore in the first place and to top it all off by winning the thing. That's really cool. So, yeah, I'm really happy. All right, thank you, Monty, and congratulations for taking home the champion. Now, not to forget, Mark, you came all the way from the lower bracket, fighting tooth and nail just to come to fight Monty in this grand finals. How do you feel like pushing all the way through so far? I feel I like to make things difficult. So, <laughs> going really two down in the, in the finals. So, yeah, no, um, well played to Monty, and um, he, he thoroughly deserves it. He's played brilliant all tournament, and uh, I think I was just probably burnt out a little by fighting through the losers bracket in the final. So, uh, yeah, fair play to him, and just I just want to say thanks to all the admins and everyone that put this together because you've all done a really good job so congratulations to you guys as well and so with that thank you and goodbye and see you in the next one thank you ggs monte well played ggs man thank you to all the admins <laughs>